Hey guys, welcome back to Healthy with Nicole. Today, I'm so excited to share with you some new information about the changes that have happened in my diet. You might have noticed that if you follow my Instagram at all, that there's been a lot of changes happening around here. So we moved to a new location, as you see, and um, a lot has happened during this time, but one of the biggest things is my transition away from the carnivore diet. Now, uh, carnivore diet has been amazing for me. It healed my ulcerative colitis and has done a lot of really good things for my body. But after two and a half years in the carnivore diet, I was starting to notice a few things that maybe were a little off. Um, and those would be like lower energy, feeling a little bit cold, noticing about some breakage happening in my hair and just some things that seemed a little off and me being one that really listens to my body did a little bit of investigating and what i found out was that my thyroid was starting to uh, slow down a little bit and not function optimally and so um, along with all of my food cravings i was naturally craving a lot of sugar in the form of fruit i literally would wake up in the morning dreaming about watermelon <laughs> and salivating over the thought of raspberries so i gave in to my body and i started eating some fruit um, and i gotta say that i love it and it really has felt really good my digestion has been awesome i'm not having any kind of uh, stomach issues or colitis issues of any kind. And so with this, I wanted to share this experience with you so that you knew what I was doing and how I was going about it. So I'll give some more detail in other videos about what I eat in a day. But um, today I just wanted to explain a little bit about the transition and some of you might be going into that as well. So carnivore diet, again, is a great healing tool. I've always thought that it's really beneficial for people with inflammatory bowel diseases um, and other autoimmune diseases that are related to gut health. I have many clients that are working on the carnivore diet for exactly those reasons. Um, and I think that there's a lot of different ways to use a carnivore diet as a healing tool. I'm not sure if it's a long-term diet or not. For me, it was great for a couple years, and then I feel like there was a diminishing return after that point. So um, I learned that the thyroid actually does need glucose to, um, to manufacture enough hormones. So your thyroid hormones, typically we run off T4 and T3. Um, in our bodies, we manufacture the T3 from T4 in the liver. And that requires glucose to make that happen. And so um, some signs that you are not getting that conversion happening could be fatigue, low libido, hormone imbalance, um, impaired sleep, breaking hair and nails, and cold body temperature, as well as a slowing metabolism. And this was my first kind of signal. Um, I was starting to gain a little bit of body fat, which... I'm okay with, but I hadn't changed my caloric intake and not a whole lot of change in activity. So it kind of made me wonder what the heck could be causing this. And through this investigation, um, I learned that I could take my body temperature to ascertain the level of my thyroid. And in fact, it was low. And so through this, uh, I was listening to my body about what it was craving. It was craving glucose, it was craving sugar, and it was fruit. So I started eating more and more fruit and feeling great. I did notice a little bit of water retention because with carbohydrate, you hydrate, you hold more water, which is kind of the opposite of what happens on a low carb diet. We drop a lot of water, so we tend to be more dehydrated. Um, and so this is kind of how my transition has happened over the last couple of months. It's just a slow introduction of um, some low glycemic um, foods such as cucumbers, mushrooms, and then a lot of fruit. And there are specific kinds of fruits and certain foods that I'm adding. What I wanted to kind of get across is that carnivore diet is great, but it might not be great forever. So I encourage everybody to listen to your body. If you're doing great on it, keep going. I'm not one to say that you should change it. For me, I was noticing changes that were a signal to me and the cravings and all of these things together kind of told me that it was time for a shift. And so 
I shifted because I listened to my body and I don't ever want to get caught up in a list of rules that somebody has created. I think it's more important to listen to your body. So anyway, um, I wanted to share that with you as I transition out of the carnivore diet. Now that my gut is all healed, I'm ready to try new foods and I'm going to be very particular on what I try and I'm gonna explain more about that in the next video. So stay tuned. If you like that video, please like and subscribe and share it with someone else who might be interested in expanding away from the carnivore diet. I'll see you in the next video.